Romans uh, 13 tells us to render honor to whom honor is due. And so I, I thank you, for Pastor, for the way you and the church have honored veterans, particularly yesterday and today. Uh, it's fitting and proper, and it's the right thing to do, and it's biblical. Uh, I want to honor another aspect of that that maybe you haven't thought about quite as much, and it's those families behind those veterans, those families behind our military. You know, we have military in harm's way uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan and the Middle East and uh, the Far East, you name it. We, uh, as the U.S. Army and as a military, are in over 108 different countries today, doing a lot of things to protect our nation that many of you would never know about. Freedom is not free. Uh, we, we know that in terms of the fallen, but we also know that in terms of those that serve. And the thing that puts steel in the backbones of those fighting men and women around the world are their families, primarily. And I talk about them as the uh, bakers of cookies and the senders of letters. I talk about the great stroller brigades. I don't know if you've ever been there to a tearful farewell of a military force going off to Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever. Goodbye, Mommy. Goodbye, Daddy. But then the joyful reunions and the homemade signs and the balloons and what I call the stroller brigades, those youngsters in the strollers, and, and uh, handmade signs, welcome home, Mommy, welcome home, Daddy. And then the sprint into the open arms of a returning soldier. That's what our families are all about. They sacrifice so much. I often say there's nothing harder than loving a soldier, sailor, airman, marine, guardsman, and that certainly is the case. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you.